from Grand Portage, Minnesota. So we are up here in Grand Portage and we are about to go hike Mount Josephine, which we're so excited about because we've never, ever, ever done this one. So this will be awesome to experience this. So just a little input about this hike. It is about 2.5 miles long to the top of Mount Josephine. And the entrance to get here is very hidden. So um, you come in right off a upper road is what it's called here in Grand Portage. And you can't, there's no signage, there's nothing. It's just this tiny little gravel driveway with the numbers 183 and 193. There's like blue signs. I'll actually show you. This is the signage from the road. As you can see, it's kind of fallen into a tree. And this is the dirt drive where you would turn into this small dirt parking lot from Upper Road. It's very hidden. But yeah, we are the only ones here in the parking lot right now. So yeah, we're gonna go conquer Mount Josephine and see what the views are like on top. And then just a heads up when you're in the parking lot here, it is the trail that runs parallel to Upper Road is the trail to Mount Josephine. There are no signs anywhere. The reason I know this is because I did a lot of research online. <laughs> We are just tuning in we have been up here this morning and we just went and hiked devil's falls this morning at the judge magni state park that was awesome i vlogged that whole morning there at the park and so now we are gonna hike mount josephine and then after this we are gonna head over to grand portage state park and see the tallest waterfall in minnesota so it's a full day up here on the north shore at grand portage which is on the border of canada so um, can't get through though, borders are closed because we're in the middle of a pandemic in 2020, of course. But yeah, beautiful day and we're lucky to be able to enjoy this today. So here's what the trail conditions kind of look like right now. Um, little muddy in certain areas, but nothing too crazy and very manageable. It is July 24th as we are doing this hike. So it is the middle of summer. And yeah, we have bug spray on, but they're not bad at all and yeah. It's good condition for the most part. So we haven't been up to Grand Portage probably for like eight years. It's been a long time since we've came this far north. And just an FYI, there is no cell phone service. We have Verizon and we can pretty much get Verizon anywhere. We've been all around the world and we've always had good luck with Verizon, but no. None up here in Grand Portage. After Devil's Kettle, there was no service, so just a heads up. <laughs> if you are looking for this trailhead, be sure to start on your map before you get up here because otherwise you probably won't be able to load your maps unless you download them prior to coming. So yeah, fun, fun. All right, so there's a split now in this trail and you take the first left here. Online it said there was a sign that said Mountain Josephine, but <laughs> I don't see a sign. So we're just praying this is the right one. There's these little things here at the beginning. So maybe that's it. But now we're going uphill. So that makes sense since we are supposed to be climbing Mount Josephine uphill, right? <laughs> oh yeah, now it's getting steep. Whew. More glute work. <laughs> Cool. How you doing, hon? Good. Whoo! Mount Josephine, you're kicking our butt. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely harder than Devil's Kettle. <laughs> wow. <sighs> All right, I'm starting to see the tops of trees and water and bugs. <laughs> yeah. Now that we're getting farther in the trail, see how brushy this is? Yeah. It's brushy. Hopefully there's no chips. We have spray though. <laughs> this could totally be bear country. <laughs> we didn't come prepared when we were in Voyagers National Park. And now we're up in Grand Portage and yeah, we don't come prepared. We got a whistle. Yeah, we got a whistle, that's it. <laughs> we did buy bear spray, but <laughs> we don't have it with us. <laughs> we're so smart. All right, now we got rockiness getting towards the top. Whew. This last part is getting into a lot of switchbacks. So just be prepared. Honey, I think we made it. I think oh we my did. gosh, you guys, this is so beautiful. Oh, it's brutal. 
We almost died. <laughs> But this is worth it. Oh, St. Josephine, whoo! I don't know about you, but you were worth it. <laughs> Check this out. Guys, oh my gosh. Here it is. Oh, oh my gosh. This is really nice. This beats anything. Wow. Wow. This is Mount Josephine. This is so pretty. We made it. Whew. You guys, this water is so blue. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it's like aqua and that looks like a white sand beach. It's not, but it looks like it from way up here. Oh my gosh. This is stunning. So way over there is Canada. Hi, Canada. <laughs> and then way out there, this ridge line down here, that's actually Isle Royale, which is a national park, which you can get to only via a boat. They might have little planes that fly in, but I'm pretty sure it's only boat. You can take boats from Minnesota and you can take them from Michigan. It's actually Michigan's national park. So yeah, this is so pretty. Talk about We're like home. the only ones up here. <laughs> This is so pretty. We are the only ones up here. We are. Not like, we are. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Woo. So pretty. This is amazing. Wow. So this is actually part of the Sawtooth mountain range here in Minnesota. Wow, it's just views. Look at that. This is unbelievable. This is this this rivals Carlton Peak, right, hon? Yeah, for sure. Wow. Yep, this is the best view in this state right here. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> this was so worth it. Oh my gosh, so cool. I can't stop saying wow because it really is that beautiful up here. Wow. Good job, hon. I'm so glad we came up here. We were debating about possibly coming later today or maybe not being able to come because this whole bay was fog when we got into Grand Portage and it cleared out and it's beautiful. So, so happy we made it up here. So now we're gonna head back down and on to our next hiking adventure, Grand Portage State Park. I'll let you know when we get back to the trailhead to see how long this took us to hike this. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> All right, we just made it back to the trailhead. So we started the hike at 12.34 and it is 2.25. So it took us about an hour and 45 minutes, a little over an hour and 45 minutes to do that. Two and a half miles round trip. It was brutal, but it was so worth it. Oh, worth oh it. It was super worth it and yep, that was definitely the most beautiful hike we have ever done in Minnesota. So glad we did it. If you haven't already, be sure to go watch my vlog from this morning where we went and hiked Devil's Kettle. And now we are on our way to Grand Portage State Park to go see the tallest waterfall in Minnesota. So stay tuned for that video because that will be coming up next. And be sure to like and subscribe and we will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye guys. Just really quick, we are on our way to Grand Portage State Park and there's a scenic overlook here. Just wanted to show you guys. So that viewpoints we were seeing, well, that's those little islands right here. And right there is Mount Josephine. I see there's like a round rocky area. That's where we were. So yeah, views from up there were way prettier than down here, but this is still pretty. <laughs> so make the hike, you guys. <laughs>